Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have Season House today. I'm excited because I think this is my second time to open this box. And this is their Fall 2022 box. And everybody knows I love fall home decor. So I believe this one is the more generic fall. I haven't peeked at anything. And not uh, a holiday specific, but a season specific box. This box is monthly and it is $79.99 a month. And they do offer prepaid discounts. If you're new to the subscription box world and you're like, the heck does that mean? That means if you subscribe in chunks like three months, six months, nine months, the cost of the box per month goes down. Shipping is only $5 in the US. And if you use the code TPE save 10, you get $10 off your first box, which is a killer deal. So this is the fall box. It starts shipping August 20th, 2022. There are four to six items per box four to six items per box. You get textiles, greeneries, decor, candles. They always send a style guide as well. And they do holidays and seasons. So think New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's, Easter, spring, summer, 4th of July, back to school, end of summer, fall, and Halloween. So we're in the fall Halloween trajectory right now. And they do have a really cute online shop that you can check out. Um, that So if you're peeking through like past boxes that have been opened and you're like, I love that item. Go to the online shop. The link is in the description below and see if you can pick it out and get it. So I was, it was wrapped a lot neater than this. I was rearranging it earlier. So it comes wrapped with the black. The only item I know about is this guy because I pulled him out a second ago. It is a fall leaf. What are these called? greenery ring, greenery circle. I love this guy. He has a very soft touch feel to the leaves. I think the leaves look very real and authentic. And that's what I was playing with earlier. It is a really cute, good, I wish I had this an eight foot long garland wreath. Let's see. A candle ring in rust and tan fall leaves, seven inches on the outside, 3.5 inches on the inside. This gives a is getting a huge thumbs up on my whole quality check where I get all all antsy about things. I love this piece. Okay, nothing else in here have I seen or know about. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love this. I love this. So I'm guessing it's a pear or it's definitely a pear shape. It's made out of metal or tin. It has leaves, but it also has like, can it hang if you wanted it to? Or is that just the tag? That might just be the tag. But if you just pull the paper part off the tag, it looks like it might actually hang. What does it say? Does it say it is? Well, I'll look at this the style guide in just a second in there. I love this, but I'm I'm hoping this is with a set. Oh, let me show you the bottom. The bottom is felt and will protect. It's very lightweight as well. Um, man, I hope that comes in a set of some sort, like a big and a small, because that would be so cute on shelves, like, or with books. He is about seven and a half inches tall to give you an idea. Fall is so happy. Fall is like that season that things are so happy. What is this little guy here? Carve pumpkins, drink cider, and enjoy fall. A holiday ornament called Carve Pumpkins. So, I'm going to bend it. It looks like you got fit and shipping. There we go. That's what it looks like. Uh, tiered tray. Hello. Super cute tiered tray decor. The back of it's blank. So, those of you who have a cricket and enjoy hacking things, you could totally do a backside to this if you wanted to. I have not started on my tiered tray, but I'm thinking both of these would be very cute on my larger tiered tray. Of course, it would go great on a shelf as well. Very good colors. Fall, but you could add purple to this. Uh, I've been entertaining adding pinks to things. We'll see where this goes, but I'm digging this so far. Here's just their little thank you note. They put this little thank you note that just basically says, thank you for supporting our small business. I don't know. It's a fun, cute little touch. What is this guy? Are they dishcloths? Yeah, it's 
a dishcloth. Okay, so I think it's just one dishcloth. Love the colors, love the pattern. What does this say? Dish towel in orange plaid. Let's see if we can open it and see how big it is. It looks like it's a good size. I get weird about small dishcloths that you can't actually like get anything done with. Yeah, he's a good size. So there you go. And he looks pretty from both sides, which is really important for me. And if you're the person who likes to hang them on hooks, it does have the hanging hook, not the hook, the strap thing to hang it. And it looks so cute. This would be a cute apron print also. Okay, I love the continuity here. The colors flow really, really well on this. So if you did this on a tiered tray in the kitchen and then hung this on like by your sink or draped it even on the tiered tray, or I always hang them on, you know, the bar on the stove. I always hang these guys right there. Um, this would be a cute little kitchen setup with the pair, kind of like a play on things. There's more. There's actually quite a bit more. Let's get this big guy. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of y'all are going to immediately know what this is. Does this look a little bit familiar? We've gotten one of these in another box. So this is a hanging ladder. This one has little feet you can put on the bottom. And so this one is a little bit different. The bottom here, the feet are slanted. Can you guys see that? Our other one, the feet are not slanted. So you could actually lean this one against a wall like this. Our other one does have flat feet and sits more in an upright position. Uh, my other one I have hanging in the living room and is in decor there. So this one, I'm gonna be tempted to put, do y'all think I could put this in my outdoor kitchen? Cause I do keep a dishcloth like this out there on the outdoor kitchen and it usually just gets tossed everywhere. I wonder if I could put this for it to be tossed like this and then I can hang my gloves right here. I bet I could treat this with just a basic clear stain so that it would be more durable because would this not be so cute in that outdoor kitchen? Of course, if you don't have an outdoor kitchen, totally can do this on your indoor kitchen. Um, let me see if this says, this is by Carolina Home. Thank you for your purchase and for supporting our small business. So I think this is a small business featured item that they ordered from this brand right here. The quality on it is outstanding. Very, very good wood. Um, no like smells. That's something y'all asked me like, does it smell weird? No, it's just no smells at all. The colors are great. Everything's very consistent all the way through on it. So... There's a lot of things you can do with this guy. We're going to have to loop back. I'll tell you on Instagram. I'll loop back on Instagram and tell you where I ended up putting him because, ooh, I've got a few places I'm noodling. I also am a really big fan of doing this, not putting a candle on it, but putting the wreath on the ladder. And then if you have a wall full of frames and pictures, mount this in there and it'd be a part of like, so you don't have so many pictures. It's in one of the decor items. And then you can just swap the thing you hang on the ladder every season to accommodate. So this is a great, what is that called? A mural wall or whatever. It'd be great on a mural wall full of cute things. I wish I had the time to do a decorate with me with like every box I get. Because like just looking at this stuff, the ideas are just flowing and I wish I could just like pour them out to you. But the decorate with me videos are extremely time intensive and they're expensive to like, you know, buy all the accent pieces, get all the hanging materials, have people help me hang. Ah. Okay. And then we have a pumpkin. Oh, it's a double-sided pumpkin. Very smart. I love double-sided items. This sounds weird to say, but I don't know why you wouldn't do double-sided items. And that's like a problem I have with like Hobby Lobby. I feel like they don't optimize what they could be optimizing in double-sided items like this. Like, why don't they do more of this? So then if it goes on a tiered tray, it doesn't matter which side of the tiered tray you're on, it looks cute. Of course, it typically doesn't matter as much on shelves and maybe that's their thought process. But this is really, really, really cute. So let me make sure I got everything out. I can't remember if I said this already, but there is limited inventory left on this box. So if you like this box, grab that coupon code and go right now to order because once I click post, these are gonna go extremely fast. And there was limited inventory. 
before I even posted this. I don't have the booklet. It breaks down everything. They shipped me my box really fast. And they were like, the booklets aren't ready. I'm like, I don't care. Just ship it to me and email it to me. So they did email the booklet right here. And it's just really cute. I'm, as you can see here, they've done a great job with putting the fall colors in, talking about the inspiration behind how the box was curated. They even show you several great ways to decorate with these items. You see the tray. You can see how they did lean the ladder up against that dark blue wall and hang the wreath like that. That is so cute. And then it breaks down each of the individual items they have here. I love the continuity in this. I love how easy the colors flow together. So if you are a person who gets subscription boxes because decorating is not your strong point. You've got other things that you're doing. This is literally like they show here on the tray and I'm hopefully going to show you guys in another video, a really cute little pop-up. This is one that you don't have to worry about putting a piece over there and a piece over there and a piece over there. And then you're like, I don't know, it's all scattered and I don't know what to do with it. This is one that you can set all together in the corner of your kitchen or on a tray in a bathroom or separate it if you want. And I think that is very user-friendly, decorator-friendly when they are continuous and can be used together. Okay, this is my second season house box and I love this one as much as I love the first one. So I do wanna get a couple more under my belt before I give season house like the big thumbs up, but I'm giving this box definitely a thumbs up. It is very cute, great curation. Under the $100 price point, which a lot of you are saying, give us some boxes that are under the $100 price point. And in this box, we got one, two, three, four, five, six items and some tips on how to decorate with them. Okay, you guys, fall is here and I've got so many fall videos coming. So if you don't wanna miss them, make sure you go down and subscribe and hit the little bell and it will notify you when I post. Um, we have our Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. We're hanging out in there and it is moving and jiving over there. We have all sorts of great discussions going on trading of pieces, sharing of information. It's just a really fun group, non-drama. If you come over and let me tell you, we're not a drama group. We're really chill. We're really respectful. We have a, I don't know, just a really good vibe up in there. So we would love for you to come join us. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing late summer. Can we say early fall yet? Am I getting a little overzealous? I'm going to go for it. Late summer, early fall. And if you subscribed, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, y'all.